There is an interesting startup called EV Solar Kits that says its solar upgrade for Teslas adds 60 miles in range per day. That's very interesting and wonderful, right? And they look really beautiful. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Hare. I'm from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla big news, breaking news announcements, and give us thumbs up, please, if you like what we cover. So a startup called EV Solar Kits is working on a photovoltaic, photovoltaic upgrade package for Tesla vehicles that it says will cost just $5,000 and add up to 60 miles of range per day. Here's what they say. There is so many pain points that electric vehicle owners have, whether it's range anxiety or lifestyle aversion, confounder Steel Vasic told Futurism. There's just so many variables when it comes to electric vehicles. It's kind of the wild west right now. I wanted to see if I could take a swing at solving these problems with an aftermarket product. Vasic, whose father and grandfather were both these design engineers for Cadillac says the kits can be installed on the roof of Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y vehicles and that the company is also working on extendable trunk panels that will be compatible with any electric vehicle. The upgrades won't violate Tesla's warranty, he said. If that all sounds too good to be true, I mean imagine 60 miles adding solar range daily, it's worth noting that the company has yet to install one of its kits in a single customer's car. But Vasic says the company has already rolled the tech out for beta test drives in the Austin, Texas area, though he declined to provide photo or video of the product in action, saying that the final design of the panels isn't yet finalized. The venture's financial position is also open to interpretation. Vasic characterized its current funding status was as pre-seed and said the company expects to launch a crowdfunding campaign soon. And they have in, in, indeed uh, launched a Indiegogo um, uh, crowdfunding campaign. The project has generated significant buzz among electric vehicle enthusiasts, he said, and has collected an email list of several thousands of potential buyers. I mean, would you uh, uh, would you pay five thousand dollars to add 50, 60 miles of extra range to your Tesla? Sixty miles of solar range, huh? And the concept's defense. Is it's true, to, it's true that onboard solar panels on electric cars could represent an intriguing puzzle piece in the steel fraud charging infrastructure for the vehicles. The concept of a car that passively generates power all day is a seductive one. And even if the kits fall far short of Vasic's anticipated 60 miles of extra range daily, especially needless to say in less sunny environments, the extra charge could still be a sustainable boost for or green transportation. Most people buy an electric vehicle because they want to be green, Vasic said. At the same time, electricity is coming from plant that burns fossil fuel. To find a way to make electric vehicles what we want them to be, we're excited about that. Even Elon Musk, the uh, CEO of Tesla, has sometimes publicly expressed interest in solar panels for the vehicles, though his enthusiasm has varied widely depending on the context. Back in 2016, for instance, he said that Tesla would probably offer a solar roof option for the company's Model 3, adding that the upgrade wouldn't be super expensive and even musing about a retractable solar system that sounded similar in spirit to EV solar kits extendable panels. Though that upgrade has yet to surface commercially. Elon Musk has also promised that the company's hotly anticipated Cybertruck will be available with a solar power option. A Tesla patent application that surfaced earlier this year shows off a design for retractable solar panels on vehicle. Elon Musk may have later soared on the concept, though, with him telling controversial podcast host Joe Rogan last year that the Cybertruck solar panels probably wouldn't provide enough power for daily use unless it wasn't driven often. And that interview, Musk told Rogan that a solar-powered van might actually make more sense because of the 
design. You probably pour the cover of the trunk bed, put some solar cells in there so you couldn't just leave it out on the sun. Must told Rogan during the podcast at the same time, if you could do 10 miles a day, you'd be lucky. All told, uh, all told, Musk's ambiguous position toward the tech raises the question of whether EV Solar Kids is positioning itself to be acquired by the automaker. Both Tesla and Musk declined to answer questions for this story uh, by Futurism. But Vasik demurred on the possibility, joking only that he'd want to meet Elon if that happens. Right now, he said, we're worried about getting the best product to consumer. Overall, he says he has faith in the tight-knit community of electric vehicle enthusiasts who he believes will only respond to a product that delivers on a technical level. We did our best to be the educational solar company that really walked people through exactly how this works, Vasik said. It might not have been as good as pitch, but that's who we wanted to be. Well, friends, I think it sounds very interesting to add 60 miles per day using a solar upgrade to your Tesla. Three years ago, I was in Munich and I met people at um, Sono Motors who built a solar electric vehicle, but then it was adding 16 miles per day. But this was three years ago. Solar energy has increased and the power, the photovoltaic uh, pan panels have become better and it didn't have that retractable um, table kind of that opens at the end of the car. So this may be possible with good technology. What do you think? Have you heard anything more on this? Let me know in the comment section below and if it's worth paying $5,000 to add 60 miles of range per day. I think it is if it works well. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a wonderful day. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you and your families. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. I have two positive announcements about Tesla Giga Berlin this morning. The first announcement is about the results of public objections against Tesla Giga Berlin. There is a quote from approval authorities regarding that that I'm going to share with you today. It's from today and the second is what the approval authorities currently are working on when it comes to approval welcome back on this monday morning dear friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla announcements and also ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and please also give us thumbs up if you find this report helpful and interesting so experts expect approval of tesla giga berlin in a few weeks reports Brandenburg's public radio uh, today. And the first announcement is that the officials are currently checking the plant safety precautions for accidents in the factory. So, you know, now, uh, approval of Tesla Giga Berlin is that the approval authorities need to go through different phases, checking this, checking that, make sure this works well, make sure that works well, what happens if there is an accident. So today they're working on uh, plant safety precautions that Tesla has in place for Giga, Giga, Giga Berlin. In, in case of an accident in the factory. And the second regards the objections from population against the uh, Giga Berlin. The objections from the population to the industrial settlement, meanwhile, did not result in any quote-unquote significant obstacles to approval, as the uh, LFU announced on Friday. So, this is a good news that the objections that have slowed down the Giga Berlin's approval for so many months now have not resulted in any significant obstacles to approval as the LFU announced on Friday. Now, what is LFU? LFU is the environment, state environment agency, which is very, very pop, uh, powerful and is the approval authority for Giga Berlin. As I reported on Saturday, Tesla is now allowed to test 2,000 bodies in its electric vehicle factory Giga Berlin in Grünheide. The State Environment Agency allowed this last Friday. In October of last year, in 2021, the LFU had already given Tesla pre-approval to build 250 bodies. With this, the company wanted to test how well the press shop and paint shop of Giga Berlin work. According to LFU, Tesla has informed the authorities that the resulting bodies are of 
poor quality. This is why Tesla needs more time and more testing. This is why Tesla has requested uh, 2000 bodies to be built as test and wants to test the production machines again uh, with the construction of another 2000 bodies. The LFU allowed this in a pre-approval on Friday as I reported Saturday. However, the company is not allowed to sell these vehicles because the factory has uh, still not received the final approval. Tesla has only built so far with pre-approvals and will have to tear everything down if uh, the final approval is not given for any reason. And as I said in the beginning, experts expect Giga Berlin's approval in a few weeks. The officials are currently checking the planned safety precautions for accidents in the factory, the objections for the population uh, from the population to the industrial settlement Giga Berlin, meanwhile, did not result in any quote unquote significant obstacles to approval, which is good news as the LFU announced Fridays. Well, friends, let me know your thoughts on all of this i think it's good that we see that the approval authorities are actively working checking this checking that and it is making very good sense that the experts expect now the approval to come in a few weeks this is armin harayan from torquenews.com have a wonderful rest of the day look forward to our next tesla coverage today we will have i'm planning five tesla stories today god bless you everyone peace be with all of you i'll look forward to reading your comments and your thoughts in the comment section below have a wonderful day and let's move on to our next tesla story